Nearly 70 Bay Area veterans are back home tonight after a once-in-a-lifetime trip to our nation's capital. They spent the day visiting the monuments and war memorials dedicated to their service. Justin Checker is live tonight at St. Pete Clearwater International Airport with a beautiful story. The nearly 70 veterans on the honor flight to Washington, D.C. returned home to a hero's welcome at St. Pete Clearwater International Airport. I've never been as welcomed in my life anywhere. It's awesome. An awesome ending to a day filled with memories these veterans will never forget. They visited the war memorials and posed for photos in front of the monuments. Uh, I've been to Washington over the years, but never seen it like we've seen it today. And it was just uh, impressive, impressive. Frank Fenor of Dunedin enlisted in the Air Force in 1965 when he was 19 years old. It brought back some of the times because a lot of us on the plane were from Vietnam era. The honor flights bring together veterans from different branches of the military. Marie Everhart of Newport Ritchie served in the Navy. What did this trip mean to you? It was, I can't even tell you, it's, I'm overwhelmed. It was wonderful. It was just so meaningful. To know that we're so appreciated means a lot. Grateful for the gratitude shown to them, these veterans encourage others who served to not miss out on this patriotic experience. For all the veterans, men and women, you will be surprised at the honor they bestow upon you. You deserve it. And organizers say they're giving top priority to the veterans who are on previously scheduled flights during the pandemic in 2020 and 2021. The next honor flight of West Central Florida is already set to take off on October 18th. Live tonight in Pinellas County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.